New information on June 8th, 2004. Of course, that's a day the entire city will never forget when a radicalized couple gunned down two police officers and a good Samaritan. Now we're getting a better picture of what happened that day. Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley joins us in the studio right now with more on Jared and Amanda Miller's deaths. And Elizabeth, what did you find out today? Well, this was the public fact finding review and what continues to be very clear is this was a well thought out and practiced attack on Metro officers. Jared and Amanda Miller had planned their movements from CC's Pizza to a nearby Walmart and officers did everything they were supposed to. The initial ambush on Igor Soldo and Alan Beck took less than four seconds. The Millers were out of CC's Pizza in under a minute. They moved to Walmart where surveillance cameras captured them heading inside with guns in hand. Not long after they arrived, armed bystander Joseph Wilcox tried to stop Jared, but was shot and killed by Amanda. In the end, Jared was shot and killed by police, and Amanda shot herself in the head. Joseph Wilcox's family was there as detectives laid out step by step what happened and showed the video of what took place inside Walmart, including Wilcox's death. The only comforting thing to me is when I see him in customer service and he turns around and says, well, it's time to go take care of them. I wasn't there to hold him or to protect him or to take care of him. Coming up tonight on Action News at 6, more from the Wilcox family, including what they believe, um, why they believe he got involved and what is helping them cope with their grief. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Elizabeth Gadley, Channel 13, Action News. Thanks, Elizabeth.